start part in part two. This is part two yeah. of the cooking for the hamburgers. This is the undead carrot. I'm going to show you all how to do it. First I took a a vegetable peeler and I did and I peeled it. There's still some on it so I will get that off and then I took the cutting board the cutting board and a knife and I cut off the tip of it like this and I put it on the side and then I placed it and I cut it half length size like this and then and hold on just a second Andrew for those that are not professional cooks that aren't really good with knives and stuff Andrew's doing it the right way he's got his finger at the top and he's got his finger down here at the bottom as he gets closer to the bottom he's going to move the thumb away and reposition his thumb so that he has good stability on the carrots that doesn't roll on them and possibly get himself cut and then I took the knife placed it in the carrot and cut it in half where and I moved my thumb like so where some goes like that so you can get a real good crisp I'll cut it just one more time to get it good and extra crispy like so and I will face it in the pan There you go. Alright, like now. What's in the seasoning pan? The. I said what was in the seasoning pan. Now, since the other three burgers are already. Back up. Since the other three burgers are already good and thoroughly cooked, the potatoes are done, the rest of the other carrots are done except for the one that we just now put in. We had to do one that wasn't done. We're going to go ahead and start dressing a hamburger. So, I've got one hamburger bun oh yeah and we've got a special secret sauce for the, for the burger and Andrew came up with the Andrew you're in the way Andrew Andrew came up with a really good sauce it's got paprika salt pepper mayonnaise ketchup and it's got it's called for garlic powder but I didn't have garlic powder so I put a little bit of regular minced up garlic and it also called for onion powder so Andrew can you please put a small amount on the bottom bun now put a small amount on the top bun <laughs> okay now I'm going to take a burger this back to the hat I got it and I took out one of the burgers that are nice and fully cooked, flipped it over here, and I'm going to take one of the tomatoes that Andrew did such a good job on cutting up for us. I'm placing that on top of the burger, oh, and I'm taking the top it's not dirty, bun, right? and I'm putting that on the top. Now, last time, Andrew was the one that did the taste testing, and he's made a special request that he wants his dad to taste the burger mashed potatoes and carrots. So we're going to make up a plate real quick for Dad to be able to taste. And we're using the special plates tonight. You didn't know there's all this on it. That's fine. No, also it calls for lettuce, but if you don't want to use lettuce, you don't have to. It's just a suggestion. Right, Tanya? You're right. Now, this is how our beautiful plate is designed. Watch out, Andrew. See how we've got it nice and designed? Now, Dad, can you please come on, or Uncle Jason, I'm sorry, if you'll please come onto the screen and taste the food so that everybody can find out how good Andrew did cooking. Oh, be careful. It did just come off the stove top. Want me to stop it? Good.
Mm, it's right there. No. Good. Now I'm going to go Little more sauce maybe, but it looks good. Alright, we got a thumbs up. Yay! We have, we have a potential new cook in the family. Alright. You want to close the stir fry? I think it's still going. Yes. I haven't been happy. doing this, so I don't know. If you all like what we did on here tonight, come over here, Andrew. You got you gotta help me do this. Remember what we say at the end of our close out video. We gotta do this. If you like what we did tonight, between Please make it. Between me and Andrew, if y'all like what we did. Try the recipe, let us know what you think. But most of all, please like, subscribe, and share. And most of all, like Uncle Jason tells everybody, go out and be the man or the woman that God has created you to be. And peace out. Hey.